Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy by David Somar and Jackie Davis. Ladybug Girl is ready to play, says Lulu. And she has been waiting forever to go to her favorite playground, the one with the twisty slides and the bouncy dinosaurs. Her mama grabs Bingo's leash and says, All right, let's go. Ladybug girl leaps over sidewalks, cracks that are as big as canyons, and when she sees Mrs. Robbins carrying her groceries, Ladybug girl swoops over to help. The bag is as heavy as a boulder, but it isn't a problem for Ladybug girl. And Ladybug girl can count really high. She counts mailbox after mailbox after mailbox all the way up to infinity. Bingo sniffs everything. When they get to the playground, it is full of kids. While Bingo settles into his spot under a bench, Lulu looks around for someone to play with. She sees Sam from her music class. He's playing by himself in the sandbox. Hi, Sam. Hi, Lulu. Want to play with me? Sure. What do you want to play? Asks Lulu. Diggers, of course, says Sam. Lulu has never really liked playing diggers. She doesn't like getting sand in her boots. How about monkeys? And in a flash, Lulu is hanging from the jungle gym. Monkeys is the best. Lulu yells. No, I don't like that, says Sam. Lulu watches Sam run off to the big castle. <gasps> well, maybe we could play castle, Lulu thinks. Being a princess wouldn't be so bad. But Sam is standing at the bottom of the castle, and that's not where she usually plays. Why are you down there? Lulu asks, puzzled. Don't you think it'd be fun to play on top? When Sam doesn't answer, Lulu says, Never mind, I know the perfect thing for us to do, the seesaw. And she runs over and sits down on one side of the seesaw and waits. And waits. Sam just stands there, not getting on. The other side is high and empty while she is stuck on the ground. Lulu and Sam glare at each other. Neither one of them says anything. Then Lulu sputters, you don't want to do anything I want to do. And you don't want to do anything I want to do, grumbles Sam. Lulu's cheeks are getting hot. She is very frustrated. Why doesn't Sam want to play? She de definitely didn't have this problem on the way to the playground when she was a ladybug girl. It was easy to have fun then. Maybe she should just go play by herself. And then Lulu has an idea. She takes a deep breath and says, Do you want to play Ladybug Girl with me? Ladybug Girl, how do you play that? asks Sam. I'll show you, she says. Ladybug Girl has superpowers. I can fly and I'm super strong. Superpowers? Sam is very interested. And what can I be? He asks. Well, you sort of look like a bee, says Lulu. A bee, yeah, a bee can fly, and he will sting people if they bother him. I need a stinger, says Sam, and he sees a stick and picks it up. I'm Bumblebee, Sam, boy, Sam declares, and I'm Ladybug Girl, yells Lulu. Nothing can stop us. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy zoom around the playground looking to help anyone in trouble. A squirrel scampers by Bingo. Oh no, yells Bumblebee Boy. That scary monster is trying to get your dog. He needs our help right away. We're coming, Bingo, says Bumblebee Boy, and they bravely charge forward. The scary monster is no match for their superpowers and leaps away. We did it! We saved Bingo! Are you okay? Asks 
asks Ladybug Girl, and Bingo wags his tail. Then Bumblebee Boy runs towards the swings. Watch how high I can fly, he yells. I can fly high too, says Ladybug Girl, running behind him. They are soon whipping through the air. They flap their wings harder and harder. They are so high they can almost touch a cloud. Look, says Ladybug Girl, waving towards the tire swing. There's a mean robot and it's going to crush the playground. We need to stop it. And they rush over to the mean robot. Ladybug Girl grabs on and jumps on top of its head. Bumble Boy Boy stings it with his stinger again and again. That will teach you not to mess with Bumblebee Boy and Ladybug Girl. They feel rather proud of themselves for saving the playground and probably the whole town. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy decide to have a parade on the bouncy dinosaurs. It is a very important celebration and a crowd gathers to watch the parade. People cheer and throw flowers at them. Two girls who are watching them come over. Can we play with you? asked Marley. I can be Butterfly Girl. No, we already decide I'm Butterfly Girl. You can be Dragonfly Girl, says Kiki. Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy look at them. If we're going to play together, says Ladybug Girl, we don't fight each other. Yeah, we work together to fight the bad guys like that giant snake over there, says Bumblebee Boy, pointing to the twisty slide. And Ladybug Girls, and Dragonfly Girl can breathe fire. Fire? I'm Dragonfly Girl, agrees Marley. As Dragonfly Girl breathes fire, Ladybug Girl yells, Watch out, you big giant snake, here comes the Bug Squad! Later, when it's time to go, Lulu says, It was fun playing together. Do you want to play Bug Squad tomorrow? Definitely, because Ladybug Girl and Bumblebee Boy can do anything. Mama, asked Lulu as they head home, Can we get wings for Bingo? The End